Joe Biden, you put black men in jail. You palled around with segregationists. In fact, you said that integration would turn America into a racial jungle. And yet you think that somehow I'm not black if I don't vote for you? You're crazy. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. And it's not even about all those things that you've done over the years. It's not even about how the Democrat Party has destroyed the African-American family and has destroyed the African-American community with bad and failed leadership and policies. This is about the idea that you have that you think that you own black votes. You think that you own black people. Black people are lucky enough to have an administration that actually passed criminal justice reform. You know, so we actually released all of those black men and women that you spent decades putting in prison. We actually have an administration that permanently funded historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, the one that under your administration, when you were vice president, had to struggle to get funding. We actually have an administration that at one point attained the lowest black unemployment in American history. So no, Joe Biden, I do not have to vote for you to prove that I'm black enough. We do not have to vote for Democrats to prove that we are black enough. Democrats do not own the votes of black people, white people, Latino people, Asian people, or anybody else. And the fact that you would have the gall to say that, that tells me that you don't really care about black people. You don't really care about black votes. You think that you own them. Well, I've got news for you. This is one black vote that you do not own, that you will never own. And I bet there are millions of black Americans all across the country that feel the same. See you in November. Joe Biden doesn't think I'm black because I'm not a Democrat. But let me tell you this, Joe Biden, you cannot shame me to run it back to your Democrat party. You cannot use my race or my skin color as some type of bargaining chip as if to say, hey, little uppity black Republican. Do you, do you want this back? Well, come on back to the Democrat plan. I mean party. Put on these victimhood, race baiting, feelings over facts, chains back on, and you can have your blackness back. Am I supposed to sit back and say, well, well, yes, a master. I would love for you to give me back these chains in exchange for my blackness, sir. <laughs> Joe Biden, let me tell you this, and let me tell you this one time. You did not issue me my blackness. And you cannot take it away. And you will not coerce, shame, or race baby back into your Democrat Party plantation. Seems like you, Joe Biden, wants to put us black people back in chains. <laughs> that doesn't make me less black because I don't choose to do what a white liberal tells me I have to do. It doesn't make me less black because I'm not a Democrat. It doesn't make me less black because I don't allow the color of my skin to dictate my politics. It doesn't make me less black because I am free. I am a free thinker who doesn't allow some societal norm or societal box to put me into a corner and dictate how I must feel about the politics of this nation. It does not make me less black to be a conservative. It does not make me less black to believe in family and integrity and personal responsibility and limited government. It does not make me less black to have a mind of my own. So Joe Biden, let me tell you something. It might not make me less black to not be a supporter of you, but it does make you a racist to think you control what black people think, what black people do, and most importantly and most egregiously, how black people vote. That is racist. That's not just...